Hello， 你好，我叫 Robin 徐永宽。Hi， I'm Grace 黄慧芬。So I grew up as a banana, which is a term used to call Chinese who cannot speak Chinese and who grew up in Western culture. So yellow on the outside and white on the inside, like a banana.、Uh, so my mother tongue is English, right? Because my parents only spoke that to me growing up. But over the years, I taught myself how to speak Chinese through going for tuition classes, private lessons,、uh, through books, and obviously through practicing with friends. Yeah. 那我自己呢？我是在一个马来西亚华裔的家庭长大的。我成长的时候是九十年代 ，the nineties， 就是。呃，亚洲有一种极度的崇洋媚外的一个时代。那当时候呢，我们华校生会一直被提醒说啊，如果你的英语讲不好的话，那你将来呢，可能没有机会在社会好好的立足，或者是你没有办法从事 ，you know very high paid 的 job 这样子的一个情况。然后那时候的电影呢，也很常去灌输这件事情。比如说，我记得陈可辛的《甜蜜蜜》。还是新加坡梁志强的小孩不笨，都一直在告诉我们英语的重要性。我看啊，你还是应该学点英文。学了英文可以在麦当劳上班啊。学会英文，在什么地方工作都可以。如果在新加坡，你不懂得华文。It's perfectly all right. Like myself, I'm doing very well, even though I don't understand a word of Chinese. 呃，所以当时候呢，我每一个周末会去这个英语补习班去学外国人的英语。然后我记得当时候那个补习班的口号呢是叫“流利英语不是梦”。<笑> you know, I think I also went to a Chinese tuition class with like the exact same slogan. Really? Oh my god! Yeah. A lot of same lines. Yeah. So even though I can now converse a lot better in Mandarin. I always still feel there's a small part of me that is still that same awkward, insecure banana who got scolded by a Chinese uncle at the bus stop when I was 15 because I was Chinese but cannot speak Chinese. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's kind of the same as me because 我后来我二十一岁的时候我也去英国去进修话剧表演，然后那个英语呢也渐渐的从我的第二语言变成我的第二母语。但是有时候我遇到像 Grace 啊，或者是很多的英语是母语的朋友的时候呢，我还是会有一种自卑感啊，会觉得哇，这些人的英语说的非常流利耶，他会不会觉得我的 accent 很奇怪啊，或者是，呃，我的用词、我的 vocabulary、我的 grammar 正确吗？或者是我的 metaphor 是不是有一点太鸡纳了、太 Chinese 了、很奇怪这样的感觉？哦、oh. ， so when I met Robin, I realized that. Those friends of mine who went to Chinese school, the ones that some of my English-speaking friends would make fun of, they were actually going through the exact same problems as me、mm-hmm. when I speak Chinese. And then I realized some more that everyone experiences anxiety, questions,、mm-hmm. and insecurities related to、yeah. identity, home, and belonging, regardless、yeah. of what language or what culture you identify with. And everyone's experience is different and unique. All you、mm-hmm. have to do is just ask. Yep. 所以呢，我们就决定了找八位马来西亚的艺术家呢，去进行一个线上的工作坊。How does my heart speak? 我怎么说？去探索我们跟语言还有身份认同的这个关系，然后也去了解背后的一些精彩的故事。And so this is some of the work that we produce. 我在讲英文的时，我想的是。不明白，我不明白，我不明白，不明白，我就糟糕了。Please say your Malaysian, eh? Please talk like Malaysian, lah. Your English, ah,、huh? is very over, lah. You know, you very pretend. You imitate the the foreigners, ah,、uh, speak the slang like this one. I wonder what you think when I speak these words. 不要讲那么快哟，我要回答什么？啊啊啊！我还要想一下英文的字，我要用我的脑 translate， 很烦。Oh my god！ 冰冰冰冰。RP received pronunciation Shakespeare actor's voice. Tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow. Oh, what are the most common words used by common people? I know what I wanna say. 
but the words all go astray. 平定了我铁丝滂沱，难道不朽不烂不朽？但是为什么我要讲的时候我会不记得呢？哎呀 ，What is that Mandarin word in English idea? What a go my god! Okay, never mind. I don't know what is it called in English, but I explain. Okay, try to explain. My Mandarin is horrible, and so is my Cantonese. I speak English with both my parents. 糟糕了，他不知道我不会讲华语。道明寺，你的妈妈很可怕，都不是我的错。我爸爸妈妈没有叫我。哇，再讲中文时，我的妈，再讲。我跟。别人讲中文时，我的脑会自动把他的字翻译成英语。<笑> There was one instance where I had a layover in either Taiwan or Shanghai, and、um, the minute I landed, I started thinking in Chinese. I very rarely speak or think in Chinese, so that instance really made me more interested in psycholinguistics. 我说华语的时候，我经常都思考我的发音要准，用词要准确，因为希望我的听众都会很舒服的，很享受的。这个过程，我们的交流，通常。我都会自我检查点一下，我现在的发音太过文吗？或者会不会像台湾音？很多人都会问我，你为什么会有台湾腔呢？我就说，我也不知道啊。我开始学华语的时候，就是在新加坡六十年代的时候，所以这个就是我的腔调，我也不觉得是台湾腔。也不是北京腔，就是这个腔调，所以我也不会呃、uh, apologize. Do you find my pronunciation wrong? Is my accent too strong? 你从刚才大家的分享里面，包括其实我近期就参加了一些啊啊、呃呃、一些交流 exchange 的 program， 它是来自各种不同国家的嘛。然后这时候就更多问题，我的英文不太好。但是各国的英文有很多特别的地方，还有自己的 accent。<笑>当我不好的时候，我要就去猜他们讲什么，所以我甚至都会怀疑那个 accent 大家都听得懂吗？怎么这么厉害？<笑>我发现大家都是在猜大家在讲什么。<笑> I get mistaken for being Malay all the time, right? Maybe it's just because I'm a bit more tanned, but I'd be like, no, I'm yeah, I'm I'm Chinese, but my Mandarin's not great, but it's improving. With you guys here, I get to use it a bit. Tattoos, because being Daya as well,、um, being Bidayu Daya, it like tattoos are kind of are actually part of my culture. But I think for a while, at some point in my life, because I was with somebody, and I actually was with that person for like a long time, and I think I also lost my sense of self, like not knowing who I am and stuff like that. My parents mostly speak Malay with each other and with other friends and relatives, but growing up, they always spoke English with me. So I was always dubbed the Matsale kid. In kindergarten, they taught us Chinese, so my parents saw this as an opportunity to send me to a Chinese primary school. I also question, like, when people say mother tongue, would that mean it's only one? What if you come from? Like parents that are two different, that are two like different races, and they speak. You know, would why do people only consider mother tongue as just one? I think Chinese is not a language. I personally think your language, your language, is your true language. Yes, 
对我而言，我对母语的认知是这个。比如说，我爸爸是福建人，我妈妈是广东人，然后很奇怪的就是两个都不教我们母语的，<笑>那这就很奇怪。我爸爸从小到大都没有跟我们说福建话，所以来呃 ，Grace、Brian， 你们是 Chinese banana， I'm a Hokkien banana <笑>。I still struggle with belonging somewhere. I'm not actually sure if I like belong in KL, even though I'm usually based there. Now that I'm back in Kuching, because I'm stuck here, and I do have work here as well, I still feel like oh, I'm not even sure if I belong here. You know, travel, connecting with most parts of the world. Every time I go to Taiwan to visit my father. And I would have to go, you know. I'd go out order some food. I can't read the menu, right? So I would just say, "So if you want some good food, you know, give me. They won't do it. Just speakers. They'll speak to me in Mandarin or Cantonese, and that helps me sort of improve as well. But I take the slight initiative to just ask how to say these things, but I don't take enough initiative to like watch while I toy. I think this is Malaysian people. 在马来西亚生存的一个方法，你必须要大概都理解。比如说，你就算是本来那种，你可能会理解一些华语字，比如说打包，比如说 big tick， 比如说啊，我很我很堵烂这种东西，<笑>就你怎样都需要会懂这种很 commonly used 的单词。所以久而久之，其实就好像变成一个儒家的语言。所以我觉得这个就是马来西亚人。I'm a firm believer that as long as you're able to communicate、uh, the message that you're trying to convey in any language,、uh, no matter how broken, no matter how proficient,、um, I think that's enough. And I believe that that is the main point of language to reach a level of understanding that both parties can achieve. I hope we not only care about what we talk and focus more on what we feel. Ah, 不准确，对不起啊，我不会做这件事。你听得懂就好，听不懂我就会问，想呃呃找人来呃帮忙我。比方说，我用一个词，我不会用华语来说，我就会说，哎，这个词用英语，那谁能够帮忙我？这个字，比方说 ，sophisticated， 那华语怎么说呢？跟我翻一翻可以吗？当你翻的时候，我就学到一个字喽。就是这样而已。你知道怎么写“我爱你”吗？你知道怎么写“我爱你”吗<笑> ？So my biggest takeaway from this workshop was、uh, your culture, your heritage doesn't have to be doesn't have to be this one neat box, and then everything can just fit inside it. Everyone is a, a mix of everything. It doesn't mean that just because you're Chinese, like oh, you must be like this square Chinese, like this perfect stereotype、yeah. definition of Chinese. And just because I don't fit in that box, it doesn't mean that I'm not a valid person or a valid Malaysian, a valid Chinese. They just keep learning and and enjoy it. So yeah,、mm -hmm. I feel like I really grew a lot from from this experience. So yeah, yeah, yeah. There's one thing that I felt very very strongly is that. I don't know. I I mean, like, it it it's 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 a bit of an anger, but there's also like feeling hopeful. Is that I think the government or the 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 other、yeah, the government, let's say, they perpetuate so many times that how diverse Malaysia is, like how you know inclusive sort of we are, but like opportunities like that to really mix people with different mother tongue. Or with differences, it's so little. But yet, when we see it happen, the magic just come.、Um, so, yeah, it's great. I really, I really felt、um, hopeful at the end that actually people are naturally very inclusive. Naturally, very, you know, they want to connect.、Hmm. Hey, thank you, thank you, Robin. Thank you, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's really great.、Um, so what? What is the what is the conclusion? Um, uh, uh, do do you think that that we will continue this program in some shape or form? Uh, 
I think I think it subconsciously happens already. I think I don't know how other people feel. I think yourself and me. I feel like after the after this project, we sort of see people, or when we do future projects, we will see casting in a very different way now, or we will see how do we put people together in a very different way now. It's no longer about whether you fit into this role, but how much differences you can bring in to it. I feel. Yeah, that's awesome. So, yeah. if you want to know more about either myself or Robin and our work as performers, as artists, and as actors, um, please uh, click on our links below. Um, you will find it in the description. Uh, and also, all of our eight participants are um, actors, uh, performing artists, and creatives in their own right, and they create very interesting stuff and are. Uh, amazing people to get to know. So if you want to know more about them and their work as well, you can click on the descriptions below. Hey, thank you for watching. Thank you. Yeah, I hope you enjoy it.